and welcome to yet another beer review with me, Peter, the Master of Hobbits. Today, down in the bar again. I felt like doing a review down here, so you're gonna see a review down here again. It's been a while. And the beer for today is gonna be one of the beers I brought with me from England. Uh, from England, it's gonna be the Gales HSB. Sp uh, stands for Horndean Special Bitter. Uh, this beer is actually brewed by Fuller's now because Fuller's took over the the Gales Brewery, and it says here full-bodied and fruity, and it's uh, an English uh, special bitter ESB on 4.8% al uh, alcohol, and got some info here from the back, Whoop. and it says, rich ruby English ale, a popular and distinctive premium beer, HSB is brewed with finest malt and hops for a well-balanced character, a hint of dried fruit and peel on the aroma leads to a rich fruity taste and a silky smooth finish. We recommend that HSB is best enjoyed served cool. It can be savored on its own as, or as an accompaniment to a wide variety of dishes. Why not try it with a beef stew or game? And that's it. So it's, it was originally brewed by George Gale & Co, but now it's brewed by Fuller's instead. So uh, yeah, let's get it cracked open and see what it's about. I've had it numerous times, but I've only had it from cask. This is going to be my first time having it in the bottle. Uh, and yeah. Mm, smells pretty nice. Here's the little cap hair. It's pretty cool. So, uh, George Gale's cap. I just want to show you something, by the way. Um, this is like a pretty cool beer. I really regret I didn't review it. I had it for New Year's, like the year I started reviewing beers, which was in 2009. It's a George Gale Last Drop. This was the. It was brewed in 2006, which was the last beer to ever come out of the George Gales Brewery. Now it's, that was a, an old ale, but uh, it was pretty good. Not as good as the Prize Old Ale. That, the Prize Old Ale was usually in bottles like this, but the new bottles for the Prize Old Ale brewed by Fuller's is kind of like this. But yeah, what do you know? Well, let's get it poured here, of course, into my Fuller's pint glass. Give it a nice vigorous pour here, as Simon always says. And lovely. There we got it. Nice. Um, the color on the HSD, it's a pretty dark ruby kind of copper color to it. Uh, darker than I recall, but that's probably also because I'm in a basement. There isn't that much light, light down here, but if I hold it up to the light here, uh, from the window, it's a kind of a copper, uh, copper ruby kind of color. The head, it's I'd say it's like off-white eggshell. Kind of looks like a traditional British pub ale. Not much carbonation, and uh, it's pretty clear. I don't know if it's bottle conditioned. Uh, doesn't say, but whatever. Let's give it a taste. Or oh, no, first check out the aroma, of course. It's quite fruity. Uh, that like that English fruity ester yeast. It's more more of a like a berry kind of general fruitiness, a lot of like toffee caramelly notes in there as well, maybe even like a buttery sensation. It smells a lot like a traditional English ESB to be honest, but it smells solid. So let's give it a, a taste here. Yeah, that is pretty solid, really refreshing. Uh, beer. Now, uh, the uh, the body on it, it's a light to medium body, uh, just slightly dry in the mouth, quite smooth. Mm. Slight bitterness in there. The hops aren't that dominant in it, even though it's a fairly fresh bottle. I get a lot of like biscuity bready malts in there, along with some toffee caramel notes. The buttery sensation was more in the aroma. Uh, along with those uh, notes, I get that berry kind of fruit, maybe marmalade, and a general fruity ester from the yeast, but nice lacing on there. Um, and that's basically it, to be honest. You can describe this beer in like a, a one or two sips. Mm. It's nice tasting, not anything over the top special. I mean, Fuller's own ESB is way better than this. Uh, but still, it's a good beer. Uh, rating wise for me, I'm gonna give it a 70. It's not the best beer uh, ESB out there. Some of the greater ones are Fuller's ESB. Um, uh, Three Floyd's Admiral Lord Nelson, their ESB. That's just fantastic. But 
still it's pretty solid. So uh, 70 for the George Gales uh, HSB Horndean Special Bitter. And guys, let me know what you think of this beer if you've had it. I've had it both from cask and bottle. I prefer it from cask. But let me know what you think of it if you've had it. Maybe you think it's not a fair rating, so let me know. And as always, remember to comment, subscribe, all that stuff. And I want to say cheers, and I'll see you in another beer review.